I also rise, Honorable Speaker, sir, to participate in the motion brought forward by Honorable Member SGS Mathur Mominin, sir. Sir, today <clears throat> I'll be very, very brief and crisp, sir, so that I'll touch only on the points for the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister to kindly uh, take note and uh, respond to them accordingly. Number one issue, sir, is relating to the transformers. Yesterday also I had raised similar issues. So transformers, I have been hearing each and every member participating today, and the main issue is relating to the poor quality of transformers. So the transformers in my area, in the constituency of Mausin Ramsar, has been a very regular phenomena where even on the strike of a lightning, or on, a, on just a, a thunderstorm, uh, the transformers, they are blown off. I keep on reminding the organization called the FEDCO. It is not the MECL that looks after the power supply in the Mausaram block, it is the FEDCO. And the FEDCO says that they have to procure the transformers from uh, an agency here in Shillong from Nong, Nong Thamai. Now I think uh, we had discussed this at length last time also that we require more such agencies to, to open up in the state where they could uh, repair or manufacture transformers. Sir. So therefore, maybe the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister will be in a better position to explain uh, why the transformers are blowing off and what are the remedies uh, to such transformers and whether transformers are easily available uh, within the state of Meghalaya rather than waiting for the transformers to come from outside the state. And sir, <clears throat> replacement of transformers takes a long, long time. Yesterday I had already mentioned about a village called Domjri where for the past seven months this particular village is under darkness. It has not got any power supply and yet the bills are reaching their respective houses on a monthly basis, sir. So I would like that the transformer in this particular village be installed immediately, sir. <clears throat> Likewise, there are many other villages where the lists are easily available in the office of the FEDCO at Mausandram subdivision, sir. So I would request the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister to kindly instruct officers down the line to uh, review the position of the transformers installation in all the villages within the Mausanam block, sir. Secondly, I'm coming to the electric bills, sir. This is again another major concern <clears throat> of all the people, sir. So electric bills sometimes are too high and sometimes are very low. People are amazed that when they, when they use electric heaters, they use geysers and all that in the rural areas, uh, some in Mausanam, and and their uh, power bill comes to just 200, 300. Whereas there is a poor family having just three bulbs and four bulbs, the power goes up to, the power bill comes to about a thousand plus. So I think there is something wrong in the system where uh, the bill recording um, has to be checked properly. And I have a suggestion to the government that <clears throat> uh, in, perhaps they could come up with some kind of a relief to the BPL families uh, by subsidizing the electric bills in the form of a corporate social responsibility of the MECL. That would be, in fact, uh, a big relief to all these BPL families uh, throughout the state, sir. And uh, maybe the Honorable Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister uh, could come up with a, with a concept where a scheme could be formulated for the people of the state who are living the below poverty line. In fact, the power supply uh, to the poorest of the poor uh, should have been free of cost, uh, like done in some other states of the country. And I hope the power department will examine uh, this particular aspect, sir. So then I'm talking about uh, the, the manner that the FEDCO is functioning, sir. They do not have uh, sufficient human resources. They do not have linemen. And I think they're reeling under financial crunch uh, perhaps the government is not paying them, or I don't know what is the agreement signed between the government and the FEDCO. And therefore, I think the, the functioning of the FEDCO needs uh, to be reviewed. The, the other aspect, what I'd like to talk is about uh, the frequent uh, power failures, so which is again a normal uh, 
a common phenomena where this uh, could be kindly looked into, uh, particularly like uh, my colleague from um, Shela had mentioned about uh, our area, like Shela and Mausan Ram having uh, frequent uh, power failures just because of a rain or a thunderstorm or a lightning. So these areas also may kind of be looked into. Then the other aspect is on Saubhagya. So Saubhagya implementation needs to be reviewed in the Mausadram constituency, which I've already mentioned yesterday too, where the connections have not been given to many households and the work of Saubhagya in the Mausadram uh, has been outsourced to somebody else. It is not by the particular company as such. Therefore, the work is very shoddy and the work is incomplete. Lastly, sir, I request the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister's power to kindly consider upgrading the Mausaram subdivision uh, into a division uh, with wider areas of coverage. Uh, this would ensure a better service to the people and perhaps by upgrading the Mausaram subdivision into a division, uh, there could be uh, better ways of serving the people and providing a good power supply in the area. Thank you, sir.